G'day and welcome back for more Escape from Purgatory. What do we need for gravity? Uh, grab gen. Yeah. Like, what What do we need that we don't have for, for gravity? Uh, we could probably make one. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Ooh, uses a lot of cobalt. And we do have a lot of cobalt. That's right, you were asking about um, whether you could make thrusters. Build your large ship, just don't put lots of thrusters on it. Just have, like two small hydrogen in each direction or something no more than that yeah yeah well that was the plan to start with anyway cool cool so yeah there's enough for that uh all right i might start mapping out a little framework outside then cool do you reckon it'll be small enough to fit in the little cavern out there uh, i should be at least for starters yeah uh oh oh, you, oh are you Hello? gonna try something with folding panels uh oh i see what you mean so like panels that can like deploy yeah so you can kind of collapse down and get back in here to be safe when we park for the, like the end of a recording but then you can go out and you can unfurl this enormous panel okay yeah i can uh because if you put two hinges between the solar panels um then they can collapse down kind of nicely and neatly on top of each other uh like two two hinges like chained together yeah so if you went small grid for the panels you could actually have them stacked really tight hmm because then you can use the little hinges because we're in we're in zero g so you don't need a lot of force but you can only make oxygen farms on large grid yeah so what I was thinking is you do the oxygen farms on the large grid bit um, and then have the have like a hinge or a rotor that turns into small grid for the solar panels. Uh, I don't know if it's really going to be necessary though. Okay. If like, you want to, yeah, just do it large grid then. The oxygen farms are going to take up a fair amount of space anyway. So like I don't need the solar panels to be smaller than that. Fair enough. Just remember, oxygen farms use power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of it. But it should be getting a lot of power when it's out in the sun. Yep. Oh, and I'll teach you how to set up Izzy's solar alignment so it can use the gyro to align. Uh. Oh, so the ship can auto-track the yeah. sun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, where do I even begin? I don't know. I'm just going to work on the base though. Almost done the full thing of this drill and I might actually destroy it after that and just build the base. And maybe set up a new drill. So they got connected. Oh, so I probably want conveyors. Alright, I need to get a connector out to where the rover is, don't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll probably want that connected. Yep, alright, I'll do that off the Soon. back of the hinge for the drill. Ugh. I guess I gotta be careful not to prototype too much too, because it's just wasting stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess like individual bits of plate aren't that valuable. No, no, we're we're okay for iron. The main like, I we're at a point where we don't really have to worry about our oh, scrap too much. It's more of a reduced yield if we pirate stuff. Think of it that way. So have you got sort of a grand design in mind? Uh, not really. I'm pretty much just... Oh. Okay, that might not be the best. All right. One thing to remember, because I don't think you'll need a huge amount of fuel, is that you can use the smaller hydrogen tanks. Oh, yeah. So that'll change your ability to shape it the way you want it as well. Uh... What's, uh... I don't suppose you know <laughs> what the collision boxes are like for the oxygen farms and the solar panels. What are you thinking? Like, could I put folding... Could I put moving solar panels next to the... Oh, wait, hold on. No, it shouldn't matter. Never mind. It's all okay. good. Uh, I won't need these ones to move, so that's fine. Small hydrogen tank. Mm-hmm. Uh, two blocks. Yeah. A lot easier to work with, yeah? Uh, possibly. Possibly. 
And then... Oh, those are both in the same menu. Okay. Alright, alright. If I get rid of this... Put this fella here. Yeah, okay. Put this fella... Here. Oh. Hmm. Did I suggest something that's going to make your life very, very difficult? Oh, no. What? Why, why must you insist on making my life more difficult? Well, I thought you'd like the idea of doing it. That's why. Okay. Like, you love solar panels and you love making unnecessarily mobile solar panels, so I figured it would, you know, be something you'd like. All right, hurry up and tell me what it is before you talk me out of it. No, no, no. I'm, I was asking with the question of, did I make your life more difficult? Oh, no. No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's all I was asking. I thought you were about to make a suggestion that was going to make my life more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I mean, maybe. Mm. Longer? More panels? Ah. Hold on. Are you over there looking at the ship now? I am. Okay, I've specifically designed it so it can be extended. Because you just cut these two chunks out and move the thruster back? No, not even. Look, the thruster on the back, you can just remove that and keep building off the back. Oh yeah, but we lose cobalt every time we do that. Well, so we'd, yeah, we'd but probably scrap like... these two bits because they don't cost anything that's more than stone. It's just a thruster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got the valuable stuff. Yeah, but how many times do you think we're going to do this? Like twice? Maybe. Yeah, that's not much. Still, it, no, no, but even still, the way you've designed it, there's a cheap bit you can cut through, and then you can just use something to merge block the thing on. What? The thruster. What are you Rather talking than having about? to grind it down. Because these conveyors are cheap. You just cut through the conveyors. You cut them... A and then you'll have a floating thruster, then you use something with a landing gear to move the thruster back, and then merge block or weld pad it on. Uh, does that work? Oh yeah, yeah, I guess you can build off the sides of the thruster. But there, we've also got weld pads, which are things that destroy themselves and um, like merge blocks, except you place them exactly where you want them to join things. Oh. Oh well, yeah. yeah, I guess that could work. Yeah, that's all I was saying. Uh, gyro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I probably need one of those. Yeah, tend to. What was your trick to getting the hinges to play nice with each other? Where are you trying to place a hinge that's not playing nice for you? I uh, like with the blast door, making hinges next to each other that don't mess around and explode each other. Oh, just so place down the other hinge, get rid of its hinge part. Uh. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Then build what you want, and then... Build the hinge part, the and then reattach. Later. Yeah. Cool. Aw, oh, man. Looks like it's going to be longer than, until we're um, airtight in here, because I am going to rebuild this drill rig, because I have almost reached the silver. And if I can just use it to mine the silver, that'll be kind of handy. Batteries. Yes. You do need the batteries, because you need to have lots of batteries, because you're going to be bringing power back. How many batteries have you got on the base so far? Uh, five. Wow, really? Yep. It's a lot of batteries. Well, you don't, like, you don't need to have a full base load of power. You just need to have enough battery capacity that you're adding power to the base, like, that it won't fill up during, yeah. say, our usual recording time of, like, four hours. Because right, that way you're not wasting anything. Might start with two batteries. Yeah. And then add more as we expand. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm, what? Except I don't think I can put the battery there if you want to salvage the thruster. Uh, we can try and use that detach thing if we get to that point. As you say, we're not likely to do this often, so just go for it. Well, like, even then, like, if I put the battery there, we'd have to sever it from two blocks. 
at right angles to each other, which would oh. be a pain. Yeah, let's not do that. There's a medium signature out there at 71Ks. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Are you talking about the ETY medium signature? Yeah. Oh yeah, just finished for me too. I imagine that's Hoblins based on who's online at the moment. Goblins? Hoblin. As in Hoblin. Limping. Damn space goblins. goblins. I kind of want to maximize the potential solar surface area, but... Might need to put gaps in between the panels to fit batteries. Unless... Unless you put them on the back side of the panel. I mean, I could forgo the double hinges because they're entirely cosmetic. Yeah, well, then, well, they're not. It was to allow you to get back into the asteroid. As long as you can fit, whatever size no, no, you go no. to is fine. Having two next to each other is un functionally unnecessary. No. Having two, what? No, you. Oh, right. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Grr. Oh, but... <laughs> But will it, um, would putting a battery there stop the things from moving? Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, like, I couldn't put, like, two, but if I just put one, it should be fine, question mark. I mean, your other option would be, instead of these armor blocks, put batteries there. Yeah, but it'll look really wonky. Would it, though? Actually, you know what? I, I've got an idea. Oh, I need oxygen and energy and food. Lucky we have all of those things. For now. No, no, no. We're good because uh, we got all that ice, remember? Oh, yeah. What about the food? What's the deal with the food? Uh, I'm going to make some food production stuff on this base once I get the stuff a bit more set up. Uh, it's oh. just hard to know. do too much expansion on the base when I'm also doing drilling with the base. So I'm kind of focusing on that. Oh, how are we going to get fuel on it? Oh, I guess it'll... Oh, actually, we should be able to... We should be able to dock the rover to it and transfer a bit of fuel, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll probably work. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way. I mean, we will need some way to connect to the base eventually, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just thinking about what things I need to get it actually moving. Uh... Your, your thing has red lights on it. The section between the connector and the junction is red, and then the section below the junction is yellow. Um, uh, not for oh. me, it's not. It just turned green. Yep. <laughs> Although the one down here is still yellow. Uh, it's green to me. Yeah. Weird. Alright, where can I get the bits I need? The good news is... Our rover is now connected to the base. Yeah, there we go. I can get stuff from here. That's uh, when you have when you have the desire. You should probably do a disconnect, reconnect, to resync. I'm suspicious. The problem yeah. is on your end, not mine. Oh, I've uh, when you get back in, I've made you some better tools. Because uh. we got silver in somewhat of an abundance, uh, we can now make fancy tools. So tier two. When did we get silver? You mined some of it. I did? Yeah. There's silver on the asteroid. Oh, right. That's why I'm able to make those gravity components you asked me for earlier. I forgot about that. I've also got gold, which means we can make a jump drive as soon as we start remaking the booze bus. Well, doesn't that need, like, heaps of stuff, though? Yeah. The booze bus is going to require some return voyages to Purgatory or somewhere else to try and source some cobalt, but I reckon Purgatory is going to be the way to go, because we know where the stuff is. And so we're going to want to make some sort of lander craft. Probably not. Or um, at least update our current lander craft, make it a bit more efficient, because I reckon... Since we've got a refinery base down there, if we can fly down, grab a bunch of resources in something that's on wheels and then drive from those resources to our existing base with the refinery, refine the stuff on the planet and then take the refined stuff back up, it'll um, save us a lot of challenge with getting off the planet again. Although it wasn't that hard, so maybe we can just accept the fuel costs, depending on how much fuel we've actually got at the time. You've ordered up a huge number of computers. Uh, how many is huge? 
uh, 400. Uh, I need five for that. <laughs> and I need... I think you ordered up whatever you needed for your cockpit. Yeah, I need a hundred for the cockpit. Yeah, and you and ordered it several times over. I couldn't tell if it was working or not. So, of course, the response is spam it. Oh, yeah. But we're going to yeah. need them. Yeah. I need them right now, in fact. Sure. Whatever. Uh, I need a color scheme for this guy. Oh, yeah. What are you thinking? Thinking gold. Gold with hints of what to set it off? Uh, well, it's going to have the blue of the solar panels. Okay, so you might use a bit of other blue, shinyish stuff somewhere just to set off the gold properly. Yeah. Why can't I help myself? Why can't I sometimes make a small base? Why do I always have to be build big? Oh. Uh, we got a wasp closing in at high speed. Oh yeah, that is booking it. Uh, I don't know what that means. But it's not headed for us directly. No, I I wonder if it's under attack. And it's trying to get away from something. We can't see what it's under attack by. Five kilometers. Yep. I think it's about to start going away from us now. So it's rate of a yep, now it's going away. So it's just bypassed us. Weird. That's real weird. Ooh. Well, I figured out what the clanking sound was. Was that? The solar panel hinges are flipping out a bit. The drill wasn't too happy either. Oh, it's probably your drill that's making my solar panels upset. Rude. When my solar panels get upset, people die! I guess I gotta build these hinges next so they stop flipping out. Uh, it might help. It might not. Oh, way to go, Mr. Optimism. Uh... Wait, have I got that backwards? I think I have. Right, one upper limit 90, the lower limit 0. There we go. Now you... How's that 0.27? That doesn't make sense. Uh, the build vision won't necessarily tell you the correct angle. It's not telling me any angle. Yeah. The control panel still should, but yeah, build vision won't uh, on a server. It'll only do that in a single player game. Unfortunately. There we go. Yeah. Neato. Success? Uh, yeah, I've got it. Uh, well, I've got one side folded up. Oh, cool. Your single player stream series has uh, taught you well. Uh, I haven't used any hinges in that yet. Yes, you have. I have? Yes. What you dragonfly use? wings. Oh, right. Oh, those are just little ones. <laughs> They're still hinges. They barely even count. Mm. Are they hinges using power even when they're switched off? Uh, when they're switched on? Yeah, they moving? will. They'll always use a small amount. So you may want to use uh, braking torque and set it nice and high and then switch them off so that they'll hold position with that. Oh. Okay, probably should have done that first then. It doesn't matter whether you've done it first or not. You can always set that up. Well, because I turned them off and they started drifting. That's right. Oh, I just, yeah. I get you. I just turned the hinge locks on. Oh, well done. What's happened here? Wait, is that right? Oh, yeah. Just got a weird angle on it. Uh, okay, more parts. Oh. Doesn't like that. What'd you do? Doesn't like me setting the limit lower than it actually is. No. No, it wouldn't like that. You let me go this far and then you tell me I can't do it. Right. The solar Energy array. Low. Oh. Oh dear. Hmm? Oh. The range on the damage of the hydrogen thrusters is probably more than three blocks. Uh. It might not be actually. What are they hitting? Gyros. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's not okay. Oh. Hmm. No, that's super obnoxious. Uh, do you know if gyros have any hitbox issues? 
I don't know if theirs has been shrunk. Did you notice that guppy out there is just sitting there? Uh, see a wasp at 8.08, .08, a guppy at 8.35. Yeah, they're yeah. both not moving. Yeah. And I see a ETY large signature yeah, 70 it's back kilometers again. away. Creepy. <laughs> There's a fundamental disagreement between my PC and the server about whether this jump is possible. <laughs> oh, we got a Cyclops coming in. Uh, looks like it'll probably miss us too. Good. We want to meet them on our terms, which will hopefully be soon. That we'll be in a position where we can meet them. Oh uh, yeah, we were talking about some kind of weaponry. Yeah. Like... None of our things at the moment are particularly warfare oriented. No, no, they're very much not. And I'm okay with that for now. Uh, I feel we need a proper space base, which is what I'm working on at the moment. And once we've got that, then we can start building more stuff from here using this as a manufacturing platform in orbit. Because I feel like some piracy might speed up the booze bus build. Yeah. So that anti-large signature is getting closer. Oh dear. It is 16 kilometers closer than it was. I'm amazed neither of us have run out of hydrogen. I guess that's just because our oxygen runs out so quickly. Hmm. This is true. I guess there are some weird benefits of <laughs> that. Also might have me slightly concerned about our supplies. About our what? Supplies. Oh, though we yeah we got a ch chunk of ice though. Yeah, got like forty thousand. Though for some reason my oxygen bottle isn't filling up anymore. Should be. You just have to hold down the thing at the survival kit for a while. But I'm gonna have something to show you which will be pretty handy on that front very soon. An extra size bottle. Uh, no. But a still handy. Tiny, tiny bottle. Well, just let me show you when I'm ready. I'm trying to spoil the surprise. Grr, this is excruciating. What is this? I'm trying to build this thing but Opponents trickling through. Whoa! Whoops. Uh, that wasn't just, me. <laughs> no, it was very much me. I just accidentally drilled a frame. Trying to clear uh, out some space. Oh. Did you say there were better tools here somewhere? Yeah, there are. Uh, I didn't make a new drill, though. I can do that. Oh. Since you're going to go drilling, I'll make one. Just hold up. That's right. I gotta, it takes me time to get back here. Oh, I've put it at the front of the queue. Uh, so it should be there when you get back. Let's see how long these bad boys last. Yeah. Yep. What shall we say to that? We're on purgatory in spirit. Okay, come back. Uh, let me know when you're back at the base, because you should come down and meet me somewhere. Because there's about to be a server restart. Yeah. And no other reason. Come this way. Fairly quickly. Uh, head down the stairs. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Okay. Into the airlock. There we go. What you the get out. Uh. Okay. Check it oh, out. Oh, med bay. Yeah, you can turn your lights off too. But check it out, my helmet's open. Alright, let's uh. get to our cryopods. Quick, quick, quick. Ah, Into what? the airlock. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Flying's faster than walking. Is it though? Yep. I'm in my pod. 
You got special tools now, you need to keep them safe. I'm safe, I'm safe. So what do you think? Do you like my little medical room? That's a bit cramped, but I, I guess it does the trick. Yeah, it was deliberately cramped. I wanted to make sure that it was an easy space to keep pressurized. Uh. Do you want cryo tubes or do you want beds? Uh, cryo tubes are safer. Yeah, I should probably stick to cryo tubes for now. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh man, I love using a med med bay. It's so much quicker. Easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah, you would have to uh, do a bit of travel to get in here and use it. I just want to get this thing flyable so I can get it out in the sun. It's taken so long just to make conveyor junctions. Let alone thrusters. So what, what's our bottleneck at the moment? What, what would we need to speed things up? Uh, more power so that I can take some of the power efficiency off the assembler and put some speed boosts on it instead. Right. Yeah. So we need more power so I can get more power so we can have more power. Yeah. Exactly. Like every survival game we've ever played. I mean, I can't withdraw small tubes. Should have infinite tubes. Oh, my game's crashed. Oh. Okay, maybe I can get some components before you get back in. <laughs> uh, how very opportunistic of you, Kavak. How very mercenary. Uh, so we have 742,000 kilograms of stone. Yeah. Might have overdone it a bit. Is there some way we can turn the stone into food? Uh... That's what you've been eating. Oh. I wondered why I kept getting all this grit in my teeth. Good old asteroid giblets. How is your construction coming along? Uh, once I get these thrusters done, it should be functional. You should have a transfer some ice yet. to it. Does it have an O2H2 gen on it? No. Okay, so you're planning on relying on something else to make the, the gas for it? Yeah. At least until you, you expand it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I could put some generation systems on a later stage. Yeah. Because as you as you elongate it, you'll create space where you can put stuff instead of putting conveyors. Oh man, some people are going to be upset with how you've done this. <laughs> huh? Why is that? Because you've Energy. used junctions no. everywhere. Well, I mean, I could... Well... We've Actually, got the we've got armored blocks, armored conveyors, which have all the attachment points. Uh, we do. Yeah, so you can use them as straight sections and T pieces and stuff, instead of having something with eight ports on it. Uh, do they do they have the same ports on them? They have fewer ports. That's the idea. Every port okay. is something that space engineers calculates to check regularly whether something's connected to it so the fewer oh. ports you have the less performance hit your grid causes okay well i yeah I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind for the rest but really the only ones that i would have used that for are these two in the middle where the solar panels are connected yeah because everything else has multiple yeah but things. there's like there are t pieces and you know ones with four connectors instead of eight yeah. sort of i'll i have a look at that when i do the next yeah. section yeah just thought I'd let you know they were there because you probably didn't know they were there. I had no idea. Alright. One thruster. Oh, Two oh, thruster. Oh. Uh, point eight thruster. Oh, I'm so close. Just two more thrusters and a hydrogen tank. Uh, I think it's time to fuel up the ship. Cool. Uh, let's see. Disconnect. Which way is up? Oh. Whoa! What just blew up? <laughs> just one of the thrusters. What did you do? 
Well, <laughs> he left all of the landing thrusters on. You... <sighs> Why? So Why wouldn't you be more careful? I was careful. I tapped the space bar once and I went flying into the ceiling. Yeah, well, you know that that's how it handles if they're not all off. I didn't realise they weren't all off because I thought they would have all been off for when we got back. No, because we turned everything off. <sighs> Being careful is not just blindly going without checking that things are <laughs> set up properly. Look, that thruster was holding us back anyway. Uh, it was doing the opposite, since it's a forward thruster. I really can't complain much. I crashed the whole booth bus. That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Why'd you break now? Oh, just the <laughs> magnetic bits on the connectors flinging me around like a... Pinball? I don't even know. Yeah, that'll do. Oh. Why is that even on the hotbar? Why what? The... The connector that connects the top part with all the rockets. I think it's merge blocked as well. I'm starting to regret giving you the keys to that thing. It's fine. Everything's fine here. Small hydrogen tank 2 is 100% filled. That was quick. Oh, did you just stockpile and take it from the other one? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Stockpile filling is very fast. Uh. Where are the lights on this thing? They're already on. Oh, did you put lights on your solar thing? Uh, not yet. Because you're going to... You'll want lights eventually, but you'll want to be able to switch them all off. I thought you had spotlights on this thing. I do. Press L. Oh, right. There's no point putting it on the hotbar when it's already got a shortcut key. It's really awkward to connect to this connector. Oh! Really ganks you around as well. Oh, we could reduce the magnetic strength on it. Okay. And it well, wouldn't do that so much. We're hooked back up. So you're taking your ship outside? That's the plan. I presume there's only one seat on board. At the moment, yeah. Although the solar panel is getting some sun now. There we go, she flies. Oh. And she spins. I did turn down the sensitivity of your gyroscope a bit. Do you need it a little bit lower still? Ah, it's alright. There we go. Just park her in the sun. Yeah. Cool. She's ready to go. So uh, now just you just gotta, gotta build the build rest up of it. some more solar panels. Now the in thing I'm interested in is, while you've got a single solar panel, are you running out of power or are you accumulating power? You are accumulating power with just one. Sweet. It's oh, generating just... 146 kilowatts. Okie dokie. So, I mean, once you get 10 of them or something, that'll be pretty decent. So, that'll give you one and a half megawatts constantly. Well, let's see if I can get panel two online. Solar panel part two. Double the sun for double the fun. <laughs> You are quite literally loving that I encouraged you to build something with solar panels, aren't you? I don't know if I would call it encouragement. What would you call what I did? Uh, it's more like you reluctantly agreed because we don't have any other effective sources of power. I don't know. I don't know. I was on board with this. I mean, I might be expecting it to get shot at some point, but I was yeah, on board. That's the possibility. What troubles are you having? Um, uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to get these hinges to deploy. Uh, I would just use a reverse button. Yeah. So it's... if the hinges are all limited to moving only 90 degrees, when you hit reverse, they'll move through those angles. And then move back. That's how I've done it when I've deployed similar systems. Does what I made, what I said make sense? Uh... Possibly. There we go. Toggle blocks on. Uh -huh. You have successful deployment? 
yes. Cool. There we go. There we go. Now we're generating some power. Current input: five hundred and thirty-five kilowatts. No, oh, that's not bad. Fully recharged in four hours. Okay, that that's surprisingly good. Because that's kind uh, of our usual recording length. That's with four panels fully deployed. Oh, Capac. Um, given what's being talked about in chat, it might be worth putting a, an ore detector on your solar ship. Huh? What are people talking about? Uh, what resources can be found in the belt? Ah. Oh, well, I guess we could put a large grid ore detector on it. Yeah, we could do that at some point. Although I think UFOL's right. I think there's minimal stuff here. It feels so weird to me having silver. <laughs> so, we've not had silver for so long in this, and I don't have silver in Survival Impossible yet. So it's just... Yep. Yeah, it's bizarre. It feels unnatural. Also, I have built two cryopods on the base for us. Oh, nice. Did you use all my glass? Maybe. Grr. Want to know another reason I like solar panels? What's that? Because I can make solar panels. Did that? You're stealing all my components. <laughs> How are you doing, battery? Recharged in two hours. Mm. Hmm. Murakaz. Yeah, we definitely need to get into some piracy. I want to try it. And yeah, I think I, I, I think your idea earlier of seeing if we can hire some mercs to help us out. Or even just invite some people along and share the bounty. It'd be fun. Yep. You've got a problem. Hire mercenaries. <laughs> well, that's what you are. It is? You're an elite mercenary. You've oh, said it yeah. numerous times. That's true. Me and my commandos. Capax commandos. There we go. Battery number two. Yeah, this is starting to come together. Cool. Oh. What? Hmm. I need one of them, their beacons. Oh, have you not put a beacon on it yet? I didn't even think about it till just now. Oh, and have you renamed it? Yeah. Okay. What have you called it? Uh, it is the... H-C-S-A. H-C-S-A. Mm hmm Hmm. Let's see what people can come up with for what they think the H-C-S-A is. I don't know. It seems like it could be fun. Sure. Because I have no idea what you could, what it could be standing for. Who can say? Well, you could. There we go. You're it's, not going to. It's N-Beaconed. Uh, does it need anything else? It's just the name of the beacon and power, right? Yep, 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 yep. Is the name a reference to some obscure sci-fi or fantasy thing? Mm, well, that kind of, that'd be given hints. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Got to sort out some kind of docking system. I guess I could drill straight up and put a pipe through the rock wall and leave this one outside. Building a gravity generator, huh? Yeah. Come check it out. You can now walk up the stairs normally. Hooray, I can break my ankles again. Okay, it needs to extend just a little bit further, though. Uh, where's the entrance? Over here. You can turn your lights off. Ah. Uh. This uh. hole is here for an obvious reason, because the drill's still active. Other than the unsightly mining hole. Hmm. Energy low. What do we got down here? Cryo tubes? Yep. Safety violations? <laughs> and we got our grav gen up here. Underneath the stairs. Med bay. Yep. I'll put yeah. a, I'm going to be putting a bit more decorative stuff in, and I'm also going to paint the place uh, at some point. I just wanted to get the basics of it down and have it pressurized and things before I start 
getting I like too what excited. You've done with the arched walls. Thank you. Yeah. Gives it a very sci-fi industrial kind of vibe. Hmm. That's what I was going for. Whoa. I am glad you approve. Oh, you'll have to show me how your thing works. You haven't shown huh? me. Now what thing works? Your ship. Oh. You haven't shown me the deploying pack away of the solar panels. Alright, I'll head out into the sun. Alright. So you did it. Oh, yep, you've got a beacon on there. Okay. Right. Show me what you got. Angling to catch the sun. And deploying the solar panels. Very Shazam. nice. Very nice indeed. Free energy. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to put extra hinges on the end of those and kind of stack them and sandwich them. <laughs> uh, battery 6 has 1 megawatt. And, oh, battery, battery also has just under a megawatt. So 2 megawatts. Right, but... Now it's time for the parking. Hook this thing up to the base. Oh, you know what? When this thing's folded up, it looks kind of like a sandwich. It does. Now I've got to get it into the base without running it into any rocks. Yep. Which is surprisingly hard work. Oh, especially since we're on the dark side now. Yep. And it is real dark. Uh, actually, could you do me a favor? What's that? Uh, could you go build a light on my connector that I've built for this thing? Sure. Oh, I know there are rocks here somewhere, but I can't see them. Uh, you're well clear at the moment. Can you see me? Yeah. Uh, I've got 12 days of power, apparently. Cool. What did you call it? H-C-S-A? Uh, H-C... Uh... Yes. S-A. That wing's getting a bit close. Uh, it's still pretty good though. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, and I forgot to put the connector on my hotbar. It's <laughs> always the way, isn't it? Connected! Very nice. Engine's off. Light's off. Oh, be very careful to avoid pressing the wing extension button. <laughs> yes, be very careful of that. Uh, in fact, if I did press it, the solar panel would slam right into this rock face. Uh, it's probably got room on this side. Do you reckon you could extend that gravity field so it does the tunnel out the front as well? Uh, probably. Uh... It looks like, looks like it gets up to the door here, so it needs like... Yeah, which is, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to do to the airlock, but you want the tunnel too. Um, I mean, it'd make, I think if you do the tunnel, it'll make a lining to get into the base a lot easier. Fair enough. Huzzah! Yay! Easily navigable tunnel! Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't go too far that way. Unfortunately, not far that way either. Yeah, but we've it also... transitions properly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've also got a whole lot of silver. Okay. Like, stupid amounts of silver. Cool. Uh, Let's start making things out of silver. We can get some of those uh, sterile tiles for the kitchen. Like, we have 177,000 kilograms of, our, of silver ore to be refined. Oh. Uh. So, yeah. A lot. As well as, you know... A stupid amount of stone to be refined to. Well, shall we go pop ourselves in our cryopods? Hey, don't do that! It's just gonna be covered up. That's just a. Urgh. I don't want to fall in. Yeah. Do you want to fall in? Let me prove that it's fine. Okay, it's not fine. And we never saw Splitzy again. I started accelerating a bit too much then. Thanks for watching the series, everybody. Sorry about Splitsy's unfortunate, untimely demise. Oh, he's back. 
Blast. I mean, good. <laughs> right. So, you've managed to build most of your power ship, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. you've got it functioning at least. I've got a little bit more to do on the base to make it airtight and so we can pressurize it and live in here. So there's that, and then us eventually trying to rebuild the booze bus. And plenty more to come. Ooh. We will see you then. These look very fancy. Yeah, I think so they're broken. Why do my... The gravity ends here. Oh. Oh. Whoa! What just blew up? Just one of the thrusters.